Hello everybody, Mr. Tilly here. Today we're going to build a scale model of the soils we collected from the school forest. Using a bucket auger, we extracted vertical columns of soil from various locations within our school forest, the wetland, the prairie, and the woodland. We're going to analyze these soils using the models that we build today. Our soils are currently in Ziploc bags labeled with the depths at which they were collected, the habitat they were collected from, and the group that did the collecting. We're going to turn these bags of soil into mini soil profiles that look like these. Here we have four distinct profiles from four different locations within one particular habitat. You can see the changes in the soil as we progressed vertically. Color, texture, etc. We'll be analyzing these changes and the various characteristics of each soil soon. First, let's do some calculations to help us build this model. Using your data table, calculate how many centimeters of soil are represented in each bag. For each bag, take the point at which you ended the collection, subtract that from the point at which you started, to get a number that represents how many centimeters of soil are in each bag. We will use a scale of one centimeter on our mini profile model to equal 10 centimeters of actual soil collected. Calculate the centimeters of soil to add to your mini profile now. Take the amount of soil in centimeters in each bag, divide that number by 10 to calculate how many centimeters of soil will, will be represented by our model. It's 56. 77 divided by 10 equals 7.7 .7 centimeters on the model. 115 centimeters divided by 10 equals 11.5 centimeters. For this example, we use a scale of one centimeter on our mini profile to equal 10 centimeters of actual soil. It's possible your instructor has guided you through a slightly different scale. If that's the case, use the scale provided by your instructor. Obtain a piece of cardstock. On that cardstock, go ahead and label how many centimeters of soil from each bag you will be adding to your cardstock. This will make it easier when you start to add your glue. Bag two, bag three, bag four. Okay. You are just about ready to start adding glue and soil to create your model. It should look something like this when you're finished. Here's a quick video showing you how it's done. Good luck and have some fun.